Hi everyone, it's Miss My Yorga. As you can see, I don't have my face in the lower corner like I usually do. It's because I'm recording this video a little bit late and uh, yeah, my face is just tired so I don't want to show my face. But um, you got my voice and the screen today. So in this video, I'm going to go over how to add game edges, how to add, oops, did not mean to do that. How to add, let's just close that up, edges to your game so that your sprite doesn't um, go to the side. That way it doesn't escape if you want to, right? Come back. There we go. So uh, this is going to be, um, my code is already here, but I actually have to show you two functions and which function you use is based on how you control your sprite. So before you copy this, uh, I need you to go up to the function that controls your sprite. Control player. Right now, you need to look at how you're controlling your player. In class, I showed people two ways to control your player. I said you can control your player uh, using the counter pattern or using the velocity blocks, like I did. What's the difference? Well, with the counter pattern, um, your player will only move when you press the arrow key. When you press it, it'll move. When you don't, it'll stop. With velocity, it's going to constantly be moving. That's the one I'm using. So as soon as I press my arrow key, it just goes on its own. Right? It just kind of moves on its own. Uh, the first method, it wouldn't move on its own. It would just stop moving. Okay. So determine which method did you use? All right. Did you figure out method one, method two? You figured out which method you're using? Okay. The method you use determines how you you can add game edges. All right. So if you used method one, you're going to do the following. You're going to add this function. This is method one. Remember, um, counter pattern. You're going to add this function to the bottom of your game, game edges and these blocks here that only deal with position, right? Cause that's how you moved your sprite dealing with position. If you used the option number two with the velocity blocks, then you're going to use this function here. Option number two with velocity blocks. The difference is the block inside the if statements and the values. Okay. For the first one, it's just saying if the, if the player goes past 400 on the X axis, that's the right side of the screen then set the position to 400. It'll just keep bringing the sprite back to 400 so it doesn't go off the screen. If the player uh, X position is less than zero, once it hits the left side of the screen, it sets the position to zero so it doesn't go past zero. Right? Same thing with the uh, up and down direction. For option number two, what this is basically saying is if the player X is greater than 400, once it hits the right side of the screen, make the velocity negative one so it goes towards the left. Right? It changes direction and goes towards the left. If the player hits the left side of the screen, then set the velocity to positive one, so it goes to the right. right. Same thing with the up and down directions. So make sure again, if you are if you are controlling your player with this function, that you use this function for grading images. If you controlled your player using the counter pattern, then make sure you use this function to control your edges, to make your edges, game edges, okay? All right, go ahead and Copy, paste, pause the video, whatever you need to do, and I'm going to show you how it should look. Here is the function once you add it, and um, you might see a little yellow triangle. If you see yellow triangles, because you haven't called the function. So make sure after you create your function that you go up to your draw loop, up to your draw loop, and you call your function, right? Grab that little small little function block, drop it in there and call the game edges function. I don't think the matter orders here. I don't know why I have it there, but yeah, not here. Game edges. Oops, I lost the game. That's why it stopped so fast. But now my sprite gets stuck, right? It can't go anywhere because I have my edges. All right. 
I hope it ho I hope it works for you. If it doesn't work for you, please send me a message on Schoology. For those of you who have me as a teacher, send me a message on Schoology. Let me know in class, and I will try to help you. But once again, make sure that you're using the correct um, function. Otherwise, it's not going to work. All right. Have a great day, and I will see you in the next video.